it all happened so fast. We didn't even have time to abort and load. Storm wasn't even that strong at first, but uh, you know, then it picked up. Boy, did it pick up. We started adding more mooring lines, but then the gangway got torn off. Yeah, it kind of died down by the morning, but the comms were off. And then while we were running about, looking at the damage, the water kind of ebbed down, sandbanks all over the place. Well, as soon as we cast away, we ran aground. Big time. Tried freeing ourselves and got gouged on the rocks. Badly. The only good thing was that there was not enough water left to sink you. And the combs were still off, and it wouldn't be much use anyways. No tug could get us out now. Looks like we're all alone here. And there's more oil spilled around us than water now. Shoot. Don't shoot, man! Wait a minute. Are you one of... Uh, look, put that gun away, will you? The spiders won't ever get in here, don't you worry. <sighs> Thanks for putting it away. Uh, where did I stop? Ah, I remember now. Wait a minute. Are you one of the newcomers? The ones with the train? But I've been dead. Hey, hey, come on in! Make yourself at home, brother! I don't get many guests with all the spiders around. They packed the horde full of the Baron's flunky's bones already. Well, you must be real lucky to have gotten here in one piece. When I had to run from the gang, I hid here and spent ages watching the damn critters. I thought I was a goner, but it turned out they were afraid of light. So I settled here for good. Now I make my living by collecting the guns and gear from the idiots the spiders catch. And they don't mind. And in my free time, I just scan the radio. So I know pretty much everything that's going on around these parts. These bandits blabber about everything on air. Then again, there's nobody to eavesdrop. Slaves don't have radios. So, as soon as they noticed your train, the Baron got all his people running around in circles. Hey, he thinks you're here to take him out. <laughs> now, you tell me if that Baron is all right upstairs. Certainly looks completely insane to me. A classic case of persecution complex and the delusions of grandeur. <laughs> Say someone did come to take him out. Real classy, like driving a, a fucking train. Fine. Let's give him that. But why would they stop at the old station then, huh? They could stop the train right at the castle gate and have at him. But logical thinking is not among Baron's faults. He's too grand for that now, huh? <laughs> Which will turn out to be his undoing in the end, I think. I will say, though, that if you really do take that Baron bastard out, the whole desert will be kissing your footprints until the end of days. Not to mention my personal thanks. <laughs> I've been ranting for too long. <laughs> Have some rest. Use the workbench if you like. In general, make yourself home, as I said. <laughs> I'll uh, stay on the radio in the meantime. You gave some bandit asses a kicking at the lighthouse, didn't you, eh? Well deserved, and timely. Gule was a menace for the Baron since forever. She spent years inciting the locals to rebel against him. But now, since there are basically no free locals left, I would have gone easy on the troublemaking were I in her shoes. But she didn't, so they finally found her base. 
Only to have you rain on Baron's parade, eh? <laughs> yeah, so he wasn't cautious of you for nothing after all. There was some news, uh, on the radio. Sor's van got stolen. And that guy is not your average mook. So he had the car for a reason. Baron's compliments. In fact, for loyal service. And the Baron does not give presents like they're nothing. You got to have authority to be worthy. Thus, everybody knows who's to blame. The newcomers. They're definitely going for the Baron. For some reason, though, they decided to start with Saul. <laughs> so, uh, what I wanted to say is, if you happen to have this car now, watch out. All the bandits know it, and will open fire as soon as they see you driving it. You won't even try asking first. Personally, I think that Saul got his just desserts here. He's as much of a bastard as the Baron is. Just more of a loser! <laughs> yes. I heard the bandits chat on air. Someone paid a visit to the Baron's metal salvage. His grunts are in an uproar. They say there was a whole gang. Something tells me, though, that it was the work of one man. Maybe even someone I know. <laughs> I have no idea what you would want from that place, but the fun was worth it. <laughs> Thanks for the giggles. <laughs> the, the idiots must still be running around looking for the attacking gang. Keep going like this. Just gauge your risks before you act. If the bastards shoot you, I'd be bored to death. Well, brother, I won't bore you anymore for some time. Have some rest, and I'll just stay on the radio. Talking. I get nervous around guns, you see.
everyone, the Baron is speaking. All right, I have a few words on the canyon near the spring where the stray tribals attacked our boys. Ivan, is my word nothing more than an asswipe to you? It was good that the slaves used to multiply there without us lifting a finger. But you should have harvested before they went rabid. And what do we have now? Tribals attacking the gods of fire! But that means extermination! My word. As you were, everyone. The Baron has spoken. <laughs>